We're going to work on 1.6.3. Now this question is really tough for a few reasons. The u substitution, uh, there's only one form this integral could look like given the forms we see in this uh, chapter. I have them all right here. They're from page 93 and 99. There's no e to the x or a to the x in the integral, so those two are out. We look down here, there's no log or natural log, so those two are out. The only one left that it could possibly be is this first one right here. Uh, I don't like it written as x to the negative first. I like to write it as 1 over x dx, and the antiderivative is ln x plus c. So I just rewrote that with some u's right here because u is supposed to make you think of u substitution. All right, so let's go ahead and make the only substitution that makes sense, which is hopefully u is hiding in the denominator. And so we go ahead and let x squared plus 1 equal u. So we have this, u equals x squared plus 1. Take the x derivative. So derivative x squared plus 1 is 2x plus 0. And now multiply the dx to the right side. So you have du equals 2x dx. All right. So that's our u sub. We're about to make that substitution. We're going to run to a problem. Uh, and that problem is... There's no, there's not exactly a 2x next to dx. Uh, there's, we could rewrite this fraction, and the way I'm going to write this fraction, if you just have a plus b over c, you could write it as a over c plus b over c. And I'm going to go ahead and split it up on the numerator. So this is integral 9x over x squared plus 1 dx plus, so here's one term in the numerator, the other term is the two. Uh, now I am skipping a couple steps here. Let me go, let me do this in two separate steps. There's no x, which is why you're about to see uh, this problem get quite a bit worse. All right, from here, the integral of a sum is the sum of the integrals. Or another way to think about it, you can split up the integral over addition. Okay, so we're getting there. Uh, I want to take out, let's see, we're going to solve for dx here. So we got 1 half du equals dx. Uh, what did I do wrong? 1 over 2. Oh, I just wanted to get rid of the 2. There we go. du equals x dx. Okay, so now we're ready. So I need an x dx. The only place I see an x dx is happening right here. So in the first one, I'm going to make my u sub here. I see u in the denominator. There's still a 9 left over. And this x dx turns into, at the top of the screen, 1 half du. All right, the second integral, however, if I try to do this u substitution, what is missing, you can't just like fill in an x because you need it, uh, so you can't do the u sub here. u sub because... There's no x dx like there was before. It's just a 2. All right, so what do we do here? One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the 2 out front so we can write it as 2 integral 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now, I'm going to run over to the textbook. This doesn't happen until the next section, so there's this question's in the wrong section. So what I'm going to do is run to the appendix table of integrals right here and we're going to see if anything here looks familiar uh, you want to look at the leftmost part of each row here uh, so we don't have any of this trig stuff exponential stuff getting warmer all right what about number 16 here now for us a is going to equal one and then u is x so let's go ahead grab this 
Now I'm copying and pasting because I'm doing all this virtually. I strongly recommend that you write these down. Uh, every time you write it down, it's going to be a little easy to rem easier to remember. Never really gets easy to remember. All right, so this is what we have going on. The difference is uh, we have, well, our order is the other way around. The X and the A switch around, but because they're plus, that doesn't matter. So we got a DX. I'm just going to swap in. No, a is equal to one, and this will be one over one, tan inverse, uh, u over one, plus c. So this is just tan inverse, which is arc tangent of u, uh, plus c. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and make that uh, antiderivative here. So there's still that two hanging out. It's two arc tangent. Uh, I don't know why I swapped back into u's and not x's. Not good. That should be an x and an x. Tan x. Uh, all right. So what about this first one? This half can go out front. So can the nine. So we have nine times a half or nine halves integral one over u du, finally one that should look familiar because I did write it down somewhere, somewhere, here we go. One over u du antiderivative is ln of u plus c. So nine over two ln absolute value u plus two arc tan x. You only need one plus constant so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it right there. Uh, usually, uh, I wait. You could do your plus constant up here, but generally, I, I like to wait until my last integral has been taken care of, and then I'll write my plus c. So this should be the answer here.